guys, it's Shadow the Rat, and for today's video, we're going to be reviewing another Ratty Box. So for anyone who doesn't know, a Ratty Box is a rat subscription service where each month you get five to six different items, um, usually some treats, some foraging items, uh, some activity items, uh, hammocks, uh, and one special item, which is usually something like a large hide. And I'm going to go over uh, this month's Ratty Box, which is July 2023's. Um, but before I do that, I just wanted to mention that if you'd like to get Ratty Box for your own rats, uh, you can order it on their website, therattybox.com, or go to their Facebook page or Instagram page under the same name. Anyways, if you'd like to check them out, I will have all those links down in the description and comments. Uh, so go ahead and check those out if you have rats and you're interested. And one last side note before I get into this, uh, Ratty Box does ship internationally, although they are a U.S.-based small business, uh, so they only have free shipping in the U.S., um, but they do ship internationally. So they are an option uh, even if you're outside the U.S. Anyways, let's go ahead and get into the Ratty Box. Uh, Miss Donut, as usual, is getting ready to uh, get some of the treats out. I noticed that she targeted these in particular. Donut, where'd you go? Oh, there she is. Crazy enough, Donut, um, which, well, Donut and all of these two girls, they've literally had Ratty Box since I first got them, which was over two and a half years ago. You know, they're pretty used to the service, uh, and they really adore Ratty Box opening days because they always get so many fun treats and toys. So, first here, we have one of the treats. Uh, this is called Apple Pie Crunch. It has dried Fuji apples, um, rolled oats, uh, pepitas, and flaxseed. So one of the nice things about Ratty Box is they do a lot of naturalistic treats like this where they'll send it to you in a mix, but they do also do commercial treats on occasion, and those have been just as big of a hit with my rats. Anyways, it seems like they really like this one, uh, especially my old girls who, as you can see, they're all just chowing down on it. Anyways, moving on to the next treat. <laughs> oh man, you guys are feisty when it comes to it. So moving on to the next treat, uh, we have these little sweet potato treats by Exotic Nutrition. And we've gotten something similar in Ratty Box before. I believe it was kind of like a pelleted version last time. Uh, this looks kind of similar. It's still sweet potato and it's still dried, um, but the other ones were pellets, like I said. So I'm not really sure what the difference is, but I'm sure my rats will like these just as much. Oh, there you go, blueberry. <laughs> they really like dried fruit. Oh, sorry, butter. Butter! You don't need all of them? <laughs> she immediately tries to grab as many as possible. So yeah, these ones are sweet potato treats, uh, and I will also be scattering these in the rat's cage, and I'm sure they will very much enjoy them. Now moving on from the rat's favorite part, which of course is always the treats, um, we now have one of the activity toys, or I guess this is actually a chew toy, uh, and that is this cute little Nibbles small pet chew. Now Ratty Box often sends these Nibbles chews, and the cool thing about them is that not only are they very fun for the rats to chew, because a lot of them have this like loofah material, which for some reason I've found rats are obsessed with chewing it, but on top of that they often come in these cute little shapes. So we've gotten like sea themed ones, uh, we've gotten circus themed ones, uh, we've gotten campfire ones, uh, and many others, including now this little picnic one, which as you can see has a burger, a hot dog, and I'll be honest, I'm not quite sure what this is, but I'm guessing a salad or a dip? Uh, regardless, they're super cute and I can't wait to give these to my rats in the cage because I know they're going to chew them up super quickly. So putting that aside, the next thing here is honestly a little confusing at first look. When I first saw this, I thought, what the heck is this? Is it like a hammock or what am I looking at? But as it turns out, it's a taco tunnel. It's so freaking adorable. Look at this. So you just have to snap it together. You can see you just snap that. And you snap it there. And then you just put it out like this. And then you have push down on it. Yep, not too much. And there you go. Perfect little tunnel. And it has a little wire inside it so it stands up. This is just so cute. I can't wait to put this in the cage too. Oh, I'm going to feel so bad if the rats end up chewing this one up. Um, but anyways, this one's super adorable. And I'm pretty... Oh! It has a blueberry in it. I really thought it was one of the dwarfs, but as it turns out, it was a blueberry. Blueberry, you're not a dwarf. No, he's a big rat. <laughs> Anyways, this is super cute, and I have no idea where the heck they found this, but it is too dang adorable. So putting that aside, now we're going to move on to my favorite part of any ratty box. <laughs> uh, blueberry, can you get down? Blueberry, blue blueberry, blueberry, it's going to fall. <laughs> Come on. She just squeaked at me, like, really, Blueberry? Really? 
I'm sorry, I'm not trying to spook you with this giant hide. Anyways, look at this. This is a hamburger hide. Oh my gosh, this is way too freaking adorable. <laughs> I think it's supposed to go like this. Anyways, Readybox nearly always sends a different hide. I mean, they have sent so many of these over the last few years. It's kind of crazy. Um, but they're always unique, they're always super cute, always great quality, they're great for photo shoots, and most importantly, the rats really enjoy sleeping in them because they're super comfortable. So I'm always really happy to see one of these hides in Ratty Box. And like I've said, we've been getting this for over two and a half years, uh, so it's pretty insane that they have not repeated a single hide. Uh, and occasionally they do do other things like hammock sets, um, but usually it is some sort of hide like this, and it is too freaking cute. Oh, she's so gentle. Look at that. Okay, so that's it for this month's Ratty Box. Uh, I hope you guys enjoyed the review, uh, and I hope you will check out Ratty Box. Uh, you can do so again by going to therattybox.com or to their Facebook or Instagram page, both called Ratty Box. And I also have all this linked in the description, uh, so go ahead and check it out there if you're interested. Anyways, like I said, I hope you guys enjoyed this review, uh, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!